The Risiata di San Saba was built at the end of the 19th century as a rice husking facility and later became the only concentration camp on current Italian territory which was provided with a crematorium. It was called a Polizia Aftlager, police detention camp by the Nazis, and had three functions. First, eliminating captives, partisans, Italian, Slovenian, Croatian political prisoners, and in some part Jews. Secondly, sorting and transporting political and racial deportees to other concentration camps of the Reich generally Dachau, Buchenwald, and Mauthausen for political deportees, Auschwitz, and then Bergen-Belsen for the Jews. And lastly, stocking the goods that were stolen from Jewish communities along the Adriatic coast. The spaces that had been used by the Nazis, which were used again between 1949 and 1965 as a camp for refugees escaping from Eastern Bloc countries. In 1965, the Riziata obtained national monument status, and in the following years, the space was transformed by the plans of local architect Romano Boico and inaugurated in its present form in 1975. High concrete external walls were added to existing structures. The crematorium and the chimney, which had been destroyed by fleeing Nazis, were represented by a plaque and a sculpture, respectively both in metal. Today, one can visit the Sala delle Croce, the Hall of the Crosses, where the prisoners arrested for racial and political reasons had to wait to be deported to other concentration camps of the Reich. The microcells, where Italian, Slovenian, and Croatian partisans were tortured often before being sent to their death. A museum and the Memorial Hall, which houses a statue to the victims of Auschwitz by the Triestine sculptor Marcello Marcherini. Every year, the Riziata di San Saba is visited by around 100,000 people, and memorial services are held there as well as educational and cultural activities such as temporary exhibitions. Mm -hmm.